Are your students struggling with improper fractions and mixed numbers? Let's handle that right now. To turn an improper fraction into a mixed number, we simply need to divide the top by the bottom. So it looks like this. 6 into the numerator, 27. Okay, 6 doesn't go into 2, goes into 27 though. It goes in 4 times, and 4 times 6 is 24. We subtract, take the difference, and we have a remainder of 3, and that's where I want you to stop, right there. Okay, we have everything we need to solve the problem. So 27 over 6 is the same as saying the whole number is 4 and 3 over 6. You could further reduce this by dividing the top and bottom by 3, so it's the same as saying 4 and a half. Okay, let's try another improper fraction. So let's try 31 over 3. Okay, so we're going to set up the division problem. The numerator goes inside, the denominator goes outside. 3 goes into 3 one time, minus 3 is 0, bring down the 1, and it doesn't go in. So we put it as 0, and then we're going to stop, okay? So my answer to 31 thirds is 10 is the whole number, because it goes in at least 10 times, plus a little extra. How much extra? 1 over 3. I want you to notice the denominators are the same. We don't change those, okay? We don't change the number of divisions. However, there are two ways of saying the same thing. Now we can turn this back into there. We, I did another video on that, but you, if you remember the steps, it was 3 times 10, which is 30, plus 1 is 31. So it's the same as saying 31 thirds. Okay, let's do a few more examples. Suppose I have a larger number, 216. We're going to divide that by 5. Okay, so the 5 goes outside, the 216 goes inside. 5 doesn't go into 2, it goes into 21 though, 4 times. Okay, so we put the 20 here, we take the difference, we have a 1, bring down the 6. 5 goes into 16 3 times. Okay, so 3 times 5 is 15, take the difference, and then stop. Stop right there. No decimals, right, because we're in fraction land right now. So the answer to 216 over 5 is, the whole number is 43 and a little leftover, one-fifth. That's our leftover. By the way, if you would like to learn more about doing fractions the easy way, I'm actually giving a whole class on it for free. Check the link in the description or the comments to register, or simply go to getmath.net slash fractions. Okay, let's continue. Suppose I have a number like 63, and I want to divide it by 4. How many times does 4 go into 63? Let's find out. 4 goes into 6 one time. And we have a difference of 2. Bring down the 3. It almost goes in 6 times, but not really. <laughs> so we have a 5. 5 times 4 is 20. Take the difference, and we have a 3. And that's where I want you to stop, okay? Because we're going to write the remainder as a fraction. So 63 fourths is the same as saying 15 and... 3 fourths. Again, notice that den uh, the denominators are the same. Okay, we don't change those. Okay, let's do something different. I'm going to s I'm going to put two improper fractions, and I'm going to do them both, and I'm going to see if you can beat me to the answer on either one. So you get to take your pick. Okay, so I have 47 divided by 5, and I also have 98 divided by 6. So which one would you rather do? I'm going to do them both. You do whichever one you want to do, and we'll see if, we, if our answers are the same. Okay? So go ahead. Don't look at the screen yet. Okay, and when you're done, you can look at the screen. And I'll write the answer in a different color. And when you're done, you can look up here and compare your answers. In fact, if you want to hit pause on the video right now, that might be helpful. Chances are you're understanding and doing this, these steps a lot easier than you did at the start of this video. 
If you enjoyed this lesson and you'd like more, you want to get more comfortable with fractions and all the operations that you can do with them, I encourage you to join me in a free class on math, specifically on fractions. You can register for free at getmath.net slash fractions. I'll put the link in both the description as well as put the link in the comments.